Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I'm here with Coach Frank and the rest of our coaching team and we're gonna go over this week's time drop interval. So, for this workout, we're gonna have six stations, one exercise per station, and they're called time drops because in the first round, you're gonna have 40 seconds of work and about 45 seconds to rotate. In the second round, you're gonna have 30 seconds of work and about 35 seconds to rotate. And then in the last round, you're gonna have 20 seconds of work, 20 seconds break, 20 more seconds of hard work, and then about 25 seconds to rotate. Okay, you ready, Frank? I'm ready. Okay, so station number one on the boxes in the ropes, we're gonna do our step up slide. So you're gonna try to get up over getting as high as you can. Use that momentum coming up to get the rope up. Use that momentum coming down to slam that rope down as hard as you can. If you need to take the impact down, you'll just step to the side. You can also step to the side of the box and just do traditional rope slams for that 40 seconds. Great job, Franks. From there, we're coming over to our landmines. We've got Coach Marie over here, and she's gonna show us our landmine squat press. So start with that bar at your chest. Deep breath into that squat. Push that air out as you drive up, throwing that bar to the ceiling. Notice how she's leaning into it at the end. She's coming up onto those toes, squeezing those glutes nice and tight as she drives up here. Nice job, Marie. From there, we're coming out to the blue floor. We have Coach Tia demonstrating our dead bug. So, for this one, you're gonna get that ball between your thighs and your forearms. Notice how her hands are straight, toes are pointed, and now she's gonna reach with that opposite arm and leg. So she reaches out with her right arm, her right leg and left arm, and then her left leg and right arm, squeezing that ball between those thighs and that forearm as much as she can, trying to keep it off her stomach as well here. Nice and controlled. This isn't about speed. Pause at the end, drive back up, squeeze that ball, reach, Pause at the end. Great job, Tia. From there, we're coming out to this side, this end of the blue floor. We have Coach KK here. She's going to be demonstrating our ball slam burpee. So reach high with that ball. Slam it down. Kick back into that burpee as hard as you can. Every slam as hard as you can here. You can also modify and go into our step back burpee here. So one leg at a time and coming back up. Or you can just go with that ball slam and squat down to pick that ball up. Every rep is as hard as you can here. Great job, KK. And then from there, we're going to come over to Coach Seth. He's going to be demonstrating our dumbbell iso squat bicep curl. So right now, Seth's going into that wide stance here, getting that butt low. He's got two dumbbells here. He's curling those up to his chest. Now, if you want, you can go with one dumbbell as well, grabbing it by both heads here, squeezing those biceps as you're curling. And of course, if you need to come up out of this squat at any point, you just come up for a second and then go back down, trying to get as low as you can. Challenge yourself. I know 40 seconds is a long time, so challenge yourself and make those modifications. Then we're over to our last station. Coach Seth's gonna show us our push-ups here. So we'll come back out to the blue floor. You can go down from those toes, squeezing those shoulder weights, push that air out as you drive back up. Deep breath in and then push that air out. If you want, you can go down from your toes, lower those knees and then press up from your knees. Again, down from your toes and up from your knees or work from those knees if you need to, but challenge yourself to do every rep well. Okay, that's our time drop set interval workout for this week. Great job, everybody. Great job.